Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Calculus 2 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to tackle everyone's favorite topic, and that is partial fractions expansion, uh, the technique of integration involving partial fractions expansion. Most people don't like this section of calculus, mainly because it's uh, very tedious. <clears throat> okay, uh, it's very tedious. There's a lot of algebra involved. Okay, you're trying to do something to make the integral simpler so that you can solve them. That's what the whole point of it is. But in order to get there, in order to actually do that, you usually have quite a bit of algebra and quite a bit of steps. And that usually uh, uh, introduces a lot of chance for errors, simple errors usually, very simple sign errors. And you're tracing back through two pages of work trying to find out where you made your mistake, and it was a sign error back on the 16th step way up on the previous page. Okay, The only thing I can tell you there is just take your, your math one step at a time and check every line before going on to the next one and make sure everything you're doing is right. It just comes with practice, and heck, I make mistakes all the time, so it's not like we don't all make mistakes. All right, partial fractions expansion, what is it? Let's say, I'm going to show you by example why you would want to do this. Let's say you want to do the integral uh, 3x plus 1 over x squared plus x dx. Well, anytime you're given an integral, the first thing you want to see is if you can do a simple substitution. But I don't think you're going to find one here because if you substitute in for x squared and you take the derivative, you'll get 2x, and that's not going to cancel with anything. If you substitute in uh, x squared plus x, you'll take the derivative of that, you'll get 2x plus 1. That doesn't cancel with what you have on the top. So no quick, dirty, um, quick and dirty uh, substitution is really going to help you here. Uh, so you're kind of stuck. This is fairly difficult. So what if I told you though, what if I told you that this integral could be magically transformed into the following? Now, I'm not even going to show you why yet. I'm just going to say, what if it could be uh, broken down into this? Okay, if I could show you a way to magically take this integral and break it into this, you can integrate that. Because here you have the integral of the sum of two things, which is just the integral of the first thing plus the integral of the second thing. This thing, integral, is just a natural log of x, and the integral of this thing can be done by a quick substitution, because if you take u and substitute x plus 1, take the derivative of that, you'll just get the derivative, which is 1, and when you do all of this, I think you can convince yourself, you can integrate this, and you can integrate this. So you can do this. So the trick is finding out how to change a, uh, what you call a rational expression that has a a polynomial on the top and a polynomial on the bottom. How do you systematically, in a bulletproof way, turn these functions, these rational functions, into partial fraction expansions? That's that's the trick. I mean, if you can do that, uh, if you can do that, you can uh, you can change the world, and you can uh, you can definitely do it. Okay. Now, one more thing I want to show you real quick, just to kind of prove to you that this is the case, is uh, if you have one over x plus 2 over x plus 1, and I wanted to add them together to see what I get, how would I do that? Well, I could take 1 over x, and I can multiply him by a conversion factor, x plus 1 over x plus 1, because I'm trying to form a common denominator here. And then I could take the second piece, this piece, 2 over x plus 1, and I can multiply him by x over x, and the reason I'm doing this, by the way, is I'm multiplying by 1 here, so I've changed nothing. I'm multiplying by 1 here, so I've changed nothing. But in the end, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a common denominator. x plus 1 over here over x times x plus 1. And then on this side, it's 2x on the top, and then x and x plus 1 on the bottom. And the reason I did that 